Computer Assembly Prepare all the materials needed for the computer assembly. You will be needing the following tools. First, place the electrostatic mat on the work table. Put on an electrostatic wrap or grounding strap around your wrist and connect the other end to the unpainted part of the computer case. This will prevent the buildup of static electricity from your body. Open the computer case. Remove the side panels, then lift the panel away from the computer case. There are different ways of opening cases, so make sure to check the manual before opening the case. Before installing the CPU, make sure to check the brand-specific information about the processor. Clean the CPU fan and the heatsink with a brush. Lift the metal rod next to the CPU socket. The CPU should have a mark in a corner that designates where it should be placed on the socket. Carefully insert the CPU lining to its markings. Push the rod back down to lock the processor into place. Following the instructions provided, place a small amount of thermal compound onto the CPU and the heatsink. Take the CPU fan and align it on the mounting tabs. The fan should have a rod to the CPU socket. Screw the CPU fan to the motherboard. Pull down this rod to lock the fan into place. Make sure to place the fan's power connector to the motherboard. To install the RAM, look for the memory slots on the motherboard. The RAM sticks should fit accordingly with the slots. Gently push the RAM from both ends until it clicks into place at the memory slot. The tabs should lock the RAM in. Next, the motherboard is installed by screwing the standoffs into place. These will screw in your motherboard on the side of the system case. Screw accordingly and align with the I.O. bezel. To install a hard disk, the system case should have hard drive base where the hard disk is placed. Mount the hard disk by sliding it into place until the screw holes are lined up from both hard disk and the case. Screw them tightly. To install an optical drive, look for the drive bay usually located on the upper portion of the system case. From the outside, simply slide the optical drive into place until the screw holes are lined up from both optical drive and the case. Screw them tightly. To install the power supply, the system case should have a large box where the power supply is installed. This will usually differ depending on the brand. Align the holes as you mount it to both the case and the power supply, then screw them tightly. Finally, connect all the cables inside. All of the devices that have been installed need to be connected from the power supply. Carefully read the manual that had come with your case and motherboard as this usually has the information on how to properly place the cables. Then connect the system unit to a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Upon turning on the computer, press the key that would run the BIOS setup. On most computers, it would either be the delete key, F2, or F12. In the BIOS, you will be able to see the different devices that you connected. This means that you have assembled the computer properly and can now proceed to configuring the BIOS and installing an operating system.